Vague, this, this is the video that, um, if, you were, if you're a follower of fitsofvague.com, you know it was gonna come. We had to put it up here. And I hate recording it. I mean, it, it pains me inside. <laughs> you know, there's a reason that baseball has ceased as of today for my interest until April. Dead to you. Dead to me. You know, I'm that classic Homer fan <laughs> that, you know, once my team is out of it, I do not watch. Yes. Yes. I mean, the funny thing is about football, I will watch the playoffs and the Super Bowl especially. You watch the Super Bowl, but will you watch just random playoff games? Probably not. No, you're right, you're right. And unless I have money on them. Yeah. But uh, as far as baseball, done to me. You know, I think there's still a couple teams in it. Uh, <laughs> to you. But we joked. I mean, let's be honest. Detroit didn't win that series. We lost that series. Um, a lot of issues, big bats, top pitchers, not really p pitching like aces. I mean, just throw me out some ideas on, on, on why we lost that series. Um, Detroit's a very good team. Detroit has at least one automatic Hall of Famer with the, with the bat. One of those guys that you can't get out if he's on, Miguel Cabrera. Right. Or you can get him out, but he's going to hit a rocket somewhere when he's on. Kind of like a Mandy Ramirez. Gets himself out. Back when Rand, Mandy was a uh, man ram. Um, great team. Obviously, they have dominant ace in Verlander. I think they have a great bullpen. Uh, their closer hasn't blown a save all season. But I do have to agree that the bats just did not show up. And it wasn't, it wasn't from the standpoint of they didn't just not get hits. They went down with epic strikeouts. Right. Bases loaded, one out strikeouts. We're talking A Rod, we're talking to Cher, we're talking Swisher, basically the heart of the order. Robinson Cano had, had a huge game one. Um, so, you know, he probably hit some four or something for the, uh, for the series. But did he, did, he, did he impact the rest of the series? Probably not. No, not he had a solo really. homer in game five. But exactly. if you look at the A Rod to Cher or Swisher uh, trio, save 2009, that group. Save 2009, A-Rod and Craig 2009. Right. All of them, for the most part, have not performed in the playoffs whatsoever, and they're just not meeting the ball. They're going up and, and trying to hit tank jobs with epic failures. And, and that's been the knock on, on Swisher and Tech since we've had them, that neither of those guys have done anything in the playoffs, and we've been there every year yeah. that those guys have been on the team, yeah. and uh, they've done nothing for us in the playoffs. Right. Uh, we you got know, them both in 09, Tex and Swish, right? Nothing 09, 10, 11. Right. So nothing so in three years. Three, three years. Under 200 for all, for both of them. Right, exactly. So we're out of it. Um, you know, I want to get on A-Rod. He's our highest profile player. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, he has no excuse. He ends this series with a strikeout where he just looked lost. And, and, and I think the biggest problem was, you know, as an Yankees fan, you should have pride in your players. And we see him up there killing the ball and then scoring eight runs a game every every time we play the, uh, you know, Los Angeles Angels. But um, in the playoffs, I didn't have that confidence anymore. You know, when, when A-Rod comes up to bat, with the bases loaded, I was just telling myself, we're not going to score here. Wow. I mean, that, that's the problem. Is we, if I lost that confidence, you know, what happened to him? He had, in the first four games, he had three RBIs, all on fundamental plays. So they were man on third, one out, ground out, sack, fly. Not on stroke and base hits, but they were fundamental RBIs, right? In the first RBI against Verlander. He, he, he did. I'm yet to give him credit for that, because you know what? A sacrifice bunt will do the job there, when he's clearly aiming for a hit with those, you know, grounders to second when he's able to get the run in from third. So My point is he made contact, but then right. as, this, as the series progressed, and you got to game four and game five, I mean, bases loaded, one out. Huge strikeout in game five, right? They lost the game three to two. Right. Now, don't now absolutely A Rod's gotta be uh, public enemy number one when it comes to this this playoff series. Public enemy number two are Tashera, three is Swish, mm -hmm. four's gotta be CC. He had a good game five, but his, his game two performance was or game three performance was was average at best. A not ace like average at best. Not not Great. opt out of my seven year Hundred sixty-one million dollar deal mm -hmm. type of good. So he hasn't, and he hasn't, generally speaking, been an ace that beats other aces. No, he's not. That's always been your knock on him. Is I love when we're midway through the season, he gets a couple starts in a row against the Royals, against the Mariners, against the Orioles, Automatic and, and he crushes them. And all of a sudden, you know, he's racked up four or five wins in a row, and then all of a sudden now he's facing Josh Beckett. Right. And boom, and we lose that game loss. five to two. It's, it's a guarantee. You know, it, it's a loss. And, and that's been the problem Problem with uh, with CeCe. And the problem is you know, he's going to opt out now, and we're going to pay him a ton of money. Right. 
to bring back this guy who's got to be pushing 400 pounds now. And I'm trying to keep pace with him, and he's outgoing me <laughs> in gut size. Um, he's also got about, you know, six inches, seven inches on you. At least. I mean, he's, he's a monster. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that was standing. You know, he's got to do better. And you know what? And if you look at it this way, he also gave up the winning run in game five. You right, he, right. He was not lights out, shut him down in game five. Right. If he comes in and he's lights out, it's 2 2, and we're going to extra innings. Exactly. And, and I don't like the way Big Trip uh, handled that anyway. Yeah. You know, I, I don't like, you know, Hughes was dominating for two, for two innings, and he pulls him out after, I think, 25 pitches. I mean, you know what? Hughes is streaky, yeah. but while he's streaking properly, let, let's ride him a little bit further. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm down on, on Girardi for a couple reasons. Hmm. But uh, you know what? If you ask me, I mean, CC got the loss in that game. Yeah. So with that being said, he got the loss in that game. I think he got the loss in game three. Yes. And uh, so he's 0 for 2 in the, in the series. CC, A Rod, Tex, Swisher. We didn't really see a good series. We didn't really see a good series from, uh, from Jeter. Jeter had a big double. Game right. four, I believe. Um, hit 250 for the series, though. Mm -hmm. Swung at the first pitch when Gardner was on first base in game five when we needed one run to tie, i.e. Right. Gardner needs to steal second, but Jeter swung at the first and, pitch. And Gardner was stealing and had the base stolen. Had the base stolen, boom, fly out, ser uh, series over, basically. We lost the next the next inning. That was in the eighth, and we lost in the ninth. Right. So you're looking at, at four bats we just mentioned. Granderson, streaky as always. What I always say about Granderson, I don't count him for anything, and right. I don't hit a two-run home run, and I'm like, exactly. it's great. Yeah. That's, that's fine. It's like, awesome. Uh, we didn't say anything from Russell Martin. We didn't say anything from anyone unexpected either. Mm -hmm. No one showed up and was like, whoa, like Andrew Jones didn't come up and right. had a huge three-run bomb. You, you know, and, and Gerard really didn't use the bench. You know, I think how many at-bats did Jones get in the whole series? He played one game. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I mean, our best Montero. player... Right, he played one game and he had two hits in that yeah. one game. <laughs> you know, play him, play him um, nice game. I, I would exactly I'd like to see you ride the hot hand a little bit there. Uh, but but I get it. You know what? It's still it's still to me. You know, we can talk about that forever. Gardner having a good series coming into his own. I like that. Um, Great series, and he and Masada. Right, him and Masada were, were our two uh, stalwarts. But uh, you know, in the middle of your lineup, when that when that uh, taxi rod Swisher thing goes to Choke City, we're not going to win that series. And it, and it is Choke City because. A Rod, A Rod wasn't hitting well at the end of the season. He was injured, but he wasn't hitting 111. Right. Okay. Tex wasn't hitting under 200. Swisher wasn't hitting under 200. Then they get to the postseason, and boom, they're, they're under the Mendoza. Right. They all drop behind. That's chokes it. Yep. It's not just that you're facing good pitching. It's just that when the team needs a single, you're swinging a home run, and the result is a strikeout. 